Hi there everybody, how are we all doing? Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to continue from the video that I made for you yesterday regarding the Facebook timeline fan pages. Now if you're watching yesterday's video you would have saw me just create this quick cover image for a brand new page on the timeline. Um, I just used the Laurel and Hardy as an example. Um, what I'm going to do as a follow up, I'm going to install a tab down here um, and make it <coughs> clickable to present to your visitors etc and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that and how clearly it shows out and the fact that you can customize the button and everything else. Now the first thing we need to do is um, to install one of the Facebook apps um, to be used for this. So this is similar to how the old pages used to be um, with the landing page and welcome page, you can still use the apps and I'll show you the one I use now all the time um, just type in the words uh, static um, and I use this one normally, the custom icons Okay, this is a very popular one, as you can see 74 million users um, <coughs> but I use um, custom icons and I also use uh, any one of the Wubox ones and they're, they're very good as well um, but this is one I normally use uh, it's a Wubox one and I'll show you it's a custom icon which you can customize and you can you can choose one of these but with the advanced timeline now features now you're able to um, customize the tab image for an image that you create yourself which is really good previously you can only do that through a canvas app that you've created yourself but now you can uh, you have the ability to write what you want or put your own company logo or whatever and I'll show you how to do that, it's very very simple so you install the <coughs> page tab we're gonna choose Lauren Hardy fans as you see, I've got quite a few quite a few pages you can just find that and then you just wait for the screen to load ok here we go now the first thing you want to do is the enable timeline 810 pixels wide that's the new because previously it was only 520 so we always want to enable that and we've got page tab share settings then this is why I like this um because basically once you've created this page tab even though it's going to be a tab that's going to be at the top of your timeline um you have a shareable tab URL which is here in other words when you're on your blog or your site or wherever you are and you want to link to your fan page um if you've got the normal um Username for your fan page, say, say for example, in this one we've got facebook.com forward slash Lauren Hardy fans or whatever. Okay, that's where you normally send them, and of course, you used to be able to send them to uh, set your landing page to be the welcome um, page by default, but you can no longer do that, so it always, go, always goes to the timeline. But with this particular app, the static HTML um, custom icons one they give you a shareable tab URL so you can use this to direct your visitors to from your site or your blog or wherever and it will automatically send them to your welcome tab or your landing page in essence so it's very very good for that and I'll show you how it works after okay so that's what you basically want now what I'm going to do in, I'm going to put in here I'm just going to put a um, a free ebook up for download um, just very very quickly to show you basically how the whole concept works now all I've done I just jumped before coming onto the video I jumped onto Google and I just typed in free Lord and Hardy ebook and I found one within a couple of minutes if that and you could do that for any niche you can, there's, there's always free ebooks to um, find if you have a quick search on Google I've uploaded it to one of my sites and <coughs> I've got it ready for download okay now what, I'm what I've also done I've opened up um, good old composer 
and as you can see I've just grabbed an image that we used yesterday for our um, profile picture put that onto um, Composer just some simple text click on the image below to download your free Lauren Hardy ebook I've set Composer at 810 pixels which is now the new maximum width allowed for the apps and all I've got to do now is go and find the the ebook and I'll make it downloadable okay so we're just going to jump back over to here see here's where I found the found the ebook now I've just got to find where were we okay one second wasn't on that, so we've got BBC from. Um, do, 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 do. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pause this one second. Okay, sorry about that, I just lost the ebook. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is the ebook I downloaded, I uploaded it to my site, to one of my sites. Okay, so that was the ebook I found. Um, uploaded it to one of my sites here. I'm um, just grabbing the URL for that and if we go back to Composer if I click on here and we're going to click a link paste in the link address OK <coughs> and what we'll do, we'll click on oops, we're going to click on the link again and make it open in a new window as well to make life a little bit easier OK, click on OK. Go down the bottom to Source. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the whole code here, copy it, just drop that out of the way, and go back onto here. And we're going to paste in our HTML code. OK. <coughs> We don't need any of the others. Um, tab name is set, set a welcome, but you can call it what you like. You can call it free ebook or whatever. I'm going to leave it at welcome for now. And what well, it says here, default tab shows tab to non fans when they visit your page. You can't you can't do that anymore. Um, but I'll show you what I mean by these shareable URLs. So we're going to save the settings there. Okay, and then let's see, we'll view the tab, see what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, <coughs> I've done this really quickly. Obviously, you'd be a bit more creative. I'll put your own information on, I'm just showing you. And then, as you can see, it's highlighted as a clickable image. So, if we were to click on that, okay, as you can see, we now have the ebook come straight up, it's that fast, and then they can. Um, the option of obviously here they can save it or download it to their PC. Okay, so that's as easy as that. <coughs> now, what you can do next is get a little custom icon. Okay, so if we go back to the Lawn Hardy Fans page, we come down here. Okay, now as you can see, this is the welcome icon you've got at the moment. Now what I will say to you, there is a Facebook bug going around within the apps when it's putting up random pictures um, under here, even if you've already uploaded a picture. Um, I don't know how long they're going to be till they sort it out, but just so you know, check on your pages regularly because your pages can change all by, uh, your pictures sorry, on these tabs can change all by themselves. Um, anyway, if you use this drop down arrow here you'll then get another little edit arrow up the top here okay and as you can see you can come down to edit settings click on edit settings you can change the name to what you want or you've got here custom tab image change and you click on that opens up in a new tab okay you've got the picture there click on change and all I did earlier I'll show you quickly I created a little um, tab there. I used X header. Um, the size for this you want is 111 by 74 pixels. That's 111 pixels by 74. And just create a little tab 
whatever you want. Uh, so I just did that really quickly, really simply. Right, so I'm just going to look for that now. And there you pictures, and I called it uh, Laurel Tab, which is there. Open that. Now this may or may not put the right one up. It has because sometimes it puts something completely different, even if you load it from your PC. Just so, um, just so you're aware, you just might have to do it two or three times. Click on OK, and that will then change. Okay, easy as that. <coughs> And now, as you can see straight away, you have got your cover image with your tab. Now, you can regularly remind people about that with um, your status update, etc. And you say to them, visit the top tab. Or, better still, like I said to you, and I'll show you this other bit now. So, you click on that, as you can see, it comes to here. Now, if you're in your settings, up here, we'll go back to where we were before, and the shareable tab URL which is here. Okay, now if I right click on there and copy the link location, okay, <coughs> go back to the page, and make sure we'll go to we'll view the tab, just so you a quick reminder of what it looks like. That's what it looks like now. Imagine this could be your welcome page or your landing page like it was before. So if you're on a site or a blog or somewhere else, um, you've copied that URL, and if I use, um, well, I use this page that we had up before as an example, I'm going to paste the URL into there. Okay. Now to show you, I've done that. It's just out of sight. You can't quite see it. Um, <coughs> all I've done, I've just grabbed that URL and I've pasted it into the top. And what I'm going to do now, oh, I'm just going to enter that URL on you if you watch. What happens here? Okay, did you see that? Obviously you didn't see me paste the URL, but it's all I did. So, you can send people from your site or your blog um, straight to your landing page, which is brilliant if you ask me. <laughs> um, you can even say so if you're posting as your page and other pages, and you want to visit to visit the page, give them that as the link, okay? And and then you're basically doing exactly the same. Um, you're sending them to your to your landing page. So it's a bit of a little tip, a little trick that I've found out. And that is where I'm going to leave the video for now, showing you how to create a an app and a tab within your page and have it nice and prominent. You'll be able to customise it so it stands out nice and clearly um, at the top of your page there. As you can see, it stands out and you can customise it to however you want. You can put your own picture, your own wording on it. Very effective and you can direct people straight to... Um, the tab that you've just created as well. Alright, okay, I'm going to give you some more timeline tips and tutorials and more great stuff on the way. There's going to be a lot of videos coming on, that's all going to be coming together on um, the big blog as well, so look out for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.